What's going on guys? Jax the Bearded Hiker here. I am so excited to be here today to bring you this recipe. It's pressure cooker lasagna. Trust me, I have been working on this recipe for months and every time I would do it, it was a major fail. Um, it never, I kept having problems with the pressure cooker coming to pressure, but I've got it figured out now. So your pressure cooker, you may not have any problems, so you can definitely do this without using what I got here. Basically, this is called the Fat Daddy-O. It's a six by three spring form pan. This is gonna solve our issues. So let's do this. All right, guys, so the ingredient list. We have some uh, sliced pepperoni here. We have a blend of some cheeses here, uh, mozzarella, provolone. Um, we also have some beautiful shaved Parmesan cheese here that's going to go in there. We have some ricotta cheese. We have some hot sauce, and you can use your favorite. We have a homemade marinara sauce here. If you'd like a link to my homemade marinara sauce, I will put it in the description. And you're also going to need some lasagna noodles. All right, let's put this together. All right. Okay, so one of the things that I forgot to mention is you're going to need two other pieces of ing ingredients, okay? You're going to need one egg, which you can't see it, but it's right there. And also about a tablespoon of some Italian seasoning. Um, and mix the Italian seasoning in with your uh, marinara sauce, okay? So right here I have my, my egg, I have all of my cheeses, my hot sauce, and the ricotta which is cheese, and we're just going to mix it up really good. All right, so the first layer on here is going to be a little bit different. We're just going to add some sauce on the bottom, cover it, all right, so we got our first layer of sauce down there, and then we're going to go ahead and just put couple of shells in there. Just add a little bit of sauce on top of those shells like that. Okay. <clears throat> now we'll start building our layers. So we're just going to drop some of this ricotta on there and spread it around. Okay, now we'll lay uh, some pepperonis on here. Now, if you don't like pepperoni, you could certainly use ground beef. Ground beef may be in your marinara sauce. Kind of looks like a pizza. Okay, now add some more of this. Alright, so our last layer here. We'll just pour the rest of this on here. Thanks, baby. All right, so we're just topping this off with some pepperoni to make it look really nice. All right, so now let's move it to the pressure cooker. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to add our trivet to the bottom here. And we're going to add a half a cup of water to the bottom. Then we'll take our Fat Daddy-O. I'm going to leave a link in the description on, uh, I don't know if I said this, on where you can get one of these. 
Now we're going to carefully set it in there like this. And I'm going to put the lid on it. There it is. All right, so now that we got our lid on it, we're going to set our pressure on high for eight minutes, and then we're going to do a quick release. Okay, guys, we have, I've taken it out of the pressure cooker, obviously. Uh, everything worked out perfect. I've let it sit to rest a minute, so hopefully, um, so now I'm going to see how this works. Hopefully we don't make a big mess. Bam. Oh, yeah. All right, so we're going to plate this up, guys, and then I'm going to try it and let y'all know how it tastes. All right, let's give it a little try. Oh, yeah. Good stuff. Pressure cooker lasagna. No way. Mm -hmm.